So, it's middle of November, and uh, we just finished fishing here on Lake Berryessa in California. And this is something that I encourage everyone to do at the beginning of each cold, cold weather, cold water kayak fishing season, uh, is to is to get your dry suit on and get in the water. Um, the reason for that is that we have um, we've let our dry suit sit in a closet somewhere, you know, for all of spring, summer, and fall. And the gaskets, this one's actually a neoprene gasket, um, <clears throat> but sometimes the latex gaskets get dry rot. Um, and you get holes there that you may not have noticed, you know, the end of last winter. So, you know, when you're at the end of the day and you wanna just, you know, make sure, hey, on subsequent trips, you're checking for leaks so you get in and uh and just make sure that you're you know you're watertight this is a new dry suit from nrs it's the uh the spin i think it's spyn um, instead of the latex gaskets it's got these are neoprene and they're a little bit less um constricting they're not quite as watertight as the um <clears throat> as latex gaskets but as kayak anglers you know we're not inherently in the water all the time this is just something that buys you time so the neoprene is is really good enough but I'm gonna jump in now and um, you know just feel for for leaks make sure that everything is tight it should be it's a it's a totally brand new suit for me but um, it's still a good idea to do that. Matthew, what was the water temp? Uh, we started at about 59 and got up to almost 62. Okay, so even at 60 degrees, you can get hypothermic. I'm not wearing the life jacket. I'm touching bottom now, but you do want to do it with a life jacket. I just wasn't going to do it with the, uh, the blow up one that we had. I didn't want it to trigger, so. But, you know, you go down, there is some flotation with the you know, with the dry suit itself, with the air that's in it. My hands are cold, for sure. My head is cold, but uh, I'm just sitting here a minute to see if, um, see if I start feeling any cold water getting on the inside. Thus far, I really don't feel it. So, that's it, I'm gonna get out dry off but do this make sure you do this the beginning of each season because you don't want to find out in December January February even March and early April that your dry suit needs repair if you do need repair um, I know I know NRS offers that repair service there's a number of um, you know paddle sports shops that will that will do repairs in particular the the latex gasket um, but even you can repair it yourself some with the um, with aqua seal and there's some other other products to to repair this kind of fabric but it's really not that bad but it will be so make sure you do it thanks Oh, I forgot to hit record. We're going to do it again. All right, we'll do it again. <laughs>